dare you? Okay, now I'm actually mad. It's sentient. It's straight up new. Hello, lovely people. All right. So, um, I, I have been having a bit of a sad time in real life. Um, it is fall where I am currently, and I have been feeling a lot of sadness about the fact that I can't go take a walk in the fall colors. Um, as I have some mobility issues and live on the third floor of an apartment without an elevator, it's very difficult for me to get out of the house unless I absolutely need to. <sighs> and then I have to go miles in order to actually find a place with fall colors where I can take a walk. So it's been a big barrier to me going and enjoying my favorite season. Which really sucks. And I've been really sad about it. But today we're going to <laughs> make our own fall walk right here in Minecraft. As you might be able to tell, I'm in creative mode. I have been uh, playing around with just building in general in, in creative just a little bit. Not a lot. Um, but... I've really been enjoying this world too because I can explore it so much faster and there's so many cool things like this waterfall behind me. But I ended up picking this little spot here. So as you can see we're kind of <clears throat> almost in like the windswept type place I guess. Um, we've got the llamas here so I don't know exactly what you call this biome. I guess I could look. In in F3. But we've got a tiny, tiny bit of snow, which is exciting for me because I do love snow. We've got the cutest waterfall. I'm actually really obsessed with this waterfall. I love it. And I don't know, this feels like a really good spot to just like make a little walk of yellow trees. So let's first start by picking out some blocks for our custom trees. All right, so. I'm going to change out some of our dirt for puzzle. Be um, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna use any other, maybe just a bit of coarse dirt. I don't want the ground to look all monotone, and we do want it to look like it's covered with leaves, but not just using carpet. Maybe a bit of yellow and orange wool? Apparently I haven't used that one yet. Exciting. Uh, I love that I don't have to be scared of all the scary sounds. It's exciting for me. Oh yeah, concrete powder? That, that's, that's awesome. And then maybe we'll grab some grab some slabs of things maybe that red sandstone and some carpets which I think are in decoration blocks yeah so a bit of brown a bit of yellow and we've got the dirt path block as well <sighs> all right let's switch that out for the yellow for now. All right. So let's go through and change our path a little bit. So I think we'll come down from this waterfall. So this waterfall is the high point for sure. I love this like natural little spot here. But we will change a little bit of this. So, if we put in some coarse dirt around. Nope. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of this podzel. It's already starting to look a little bit more like a 
fall pathway. Hello, good sir. Really? Yes, hello. Yes, yes, very much hello. <laughs> Alright, so after experimenting with a little bit of the colors and the different blocks that I've chosen, um, I'm discovering that my favorite is Podzil. It definitely looks like a nice folly ground. Um, yeah. I like having a little bit of the coarse dirt in there, but honestly, whew, it's almost a little much. I like the orange concrete powder as far as like a leaf color goes. Um, but yeah, just trying to figure out how to make it not too patchworky. Um, but I still definitely want to, you know, keep the the current terrain. I I chose this place because I liked the terrain already. So I don't need to change it too much. Um, I also, I'm, I love the way the trees already frame the path, and I don't know if I want to take them down and replace them completely, or just build up from what we've got with the already existing trees. Alright, this tree has to come down though. I thought about, I thought about adding a mod pack that actually had like, you know, fall colors in it, but I decided against it. I do, I, I, um, playing in Skyrim have enjoyed, um, using a little bit of mods, um, but what I've kind of discovered I like as far as using mods is, um, basically finding something that is going to enhance my experience of the game without changing the gameplay itself. So for example, I love lighting mods. Lighting mods are so cool. And and also weather mods. Um, I have one in Skyrim that changes dialogue. Um, or like adds adds more like NPC dialogue, um, and I love it, and it's hilarious and so entertaining, and doesn't really change the actual gameplay for me. Um, I I did add the magical college of Winterhold, so that. I, I, because I enjoy a mage build, uh, and so I liked having the extra, extra college experience, but yeah, like, I try not to do things that, like, add quests or anything like that, you know? And then this tree's gonna go away, too. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Yeah. Cool. Bye bye. I love this little hollow, so we'll kind of, yeah, make this a pretty spot. I don't know <laughs> what the heck is going on with that thing anyways. I don't even know. Alright, well we have a little path marked out now, which I like. I, I, I like how it curves around there a little bit to go down to that point. Um, yeah. So, hmm, I have to decide what to do about these trees. I think these trees kind of right here at the beginning of the entrance. We will leave the trunks and then maybe do a little bit of enhancing. Like I like the way that this is framed. <laughs> I like the way that this was framed, but I just I want to um 
make it feel a little more, f more folly and a little more magical. So, the question is, what do I use for the leaves of the trees? Ah, there's still spoilers right in here. Hey, bud, you're a spoiler, you know that? Anyways, I just wanted to uh, say real quick that uh, this video is my first... Wow, that's fancy. Um, my first video with closed captioning. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be able to use that in my videos. Um, as someone with my own set of disabilities, I understand that something like closed captioning can make things a lot more accessible to people. And also, sometimes people like me uh, are just bad at like paying attention and need closed captioning sometimes too. So it works out for everybody. But I'm very excited to uh, bring that today um, and hopefully it will be the case on the rest of my videos. I will hopefully be using that from here on out on my videos. So yeah, thank you guys, as always. Oh, I almost showed a little too much spoiler over there. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get back to working. All right, so first things first, I think we're gonna add a little bit of fencing and leaves. It's not super branchy, but we don't want it super branchy. These ones are small and compact. It's a little more leaves, which we'll start adding now, which is exciting. I'm kind of going to do, you know, a little more green on the bottom and like the inside as many trees in the fall do. I do love that color though. I think that's a good color. And then, ooh, maybe one there. Let's see. Let's see look. Mm, I'm not feeling that one actually at all. But I wonder if we could instead add a little bit of like the roots. And then if we start adding more of our leafy blocks, I say leafy, like I'll probably put the glowstone on the inside again, drop a little gold down into here, huh. we need it to be a little more open and airy, I think. Um, So we're going to, well actually, let's leave that there for a second, and we're going to do that. Yeah, that already gives more depth. Alright, so for example, we do that, and then shoot. <laughs> okay, but I am a huge fan of this gold ore, and how that looks. That is like actually incredible and probably my favorite like golden leaves block. <laughs> all right, all right. I think I'm kind of starting to get a feel. So we're gonna take the honey blocks out and instead just replace those with a little. Definitely getting a feel for what I want here at this point, which is exciting. And by what I want, I really mean for this tree in particular. So obviously each tree is going to be different. Definitely need to fix things with that tree. But 
what if we made a slightly oranger tree? Yeah, I like that contrast with the with the yellow tree too. Uh, might not be perfect, but I'm enjoying it. All right, and then this one is just going to be super little and cute and simple in general. So we'll just use that like yellow yellow block set. Let's see. So this is kind of what we have currently as far as trees go. It is, I am finding, exceptionally difficult. Oh my gosh, it's raining again. I literally just cleared the rain. But it is exceptionally difficult to, I guess, emulate leaves with solid blocks. <laughs> oh. oh, that's thunder. <laughs> Much excitement, I suppose. That there. Alright, that hurts my ears. Five minutes. All right, so I'm liking the look of this one better, and I think what I'm learning is that I really need to not mix my textures quite as much. I think I think that's the lesson we're getting from this. And then we'll add a spore blossom there, and probably, to be honest, hide it a little bit better. Not completely, but a little better. But then we get little bits. Bits of happiness is what those are. I swear. I'm going to go time in the recording exactly how far apart that is because it's ridiculous. I tore it all down. <laughs> I didn't like, I didn't like how it looked. So we're going to build a new tree. Ugh. And we're going to start with some small trees here at the beginning. Just, yeah, skinny, skinny little trees. Still add some of that yellowness around and actually Probably a piece or two of glowstone, but a lot less glowstone. This is so much better. Yes, I like this. This is so much better. Um, I'm not sure as far as like texturing goes. Adding a little, a little more of the gold in there, I guess, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, let's try that a little bit more around here. You know what this tree has to go to. Yeah, I'm definitely much more a fan of this. I like this a lot. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I like this a lot better. And we'll do some larger trees as we get closer to the, like, middle spot, too. Let's see what it looks like to get this texture. I swear it doesn't never stop raining in this world. Then we're gonna make a tree that kind of just like arches through here a bit. Cause I love me a good arch. You know, it's still not perfect and obviously there's lots of detail work that needs to be done, but it's definitely more along the lines of what I was envisioning. So it's a great start. I I think I already definitely need another another spore blossom in here. Alright, another thing we need is just like 
the small trees back in here. Oh my gosh. It looks like... <clears throat> it looks like the birch leaves. I love it. I love it. I'm thinking about bushes. There's not a great way to make like a yellow bush. Huh. I wonder how like a dried coral would look in here somewhere. <laughs> I wonder Okay. Uh, nah, not a fan. However, could we possibly You can't stack an F. Well, that sucks. Obviously, we need to put mushrooms down, but I really want something nice and bushy, too. Alright. Thinking about ground details here. Obviously, a few ferns here and there. Awesome. But we really need more than just you know, green plants around. So we add a little bit of red around. Which definitely helps. And then, what if... You know, we just had a few, like, bushy bits. <laughs> Is it bushy? Let's see. Sir, sir, how did how did you get here? I'm actually really starting to love it. Is this giving anybody else fall vibes? It's giving me fall vibes. I like it. sitting here just kind of building away. Oh my goodness. I'm very much enjoying this little spot though. This was this was a good project. This was a good choice. <laughs> It's raining again. The one nice thing about the rain is it does let us like look at our absolutely lovely like lighting situation, which I am abs I am so here for just the like magical lighting going on. I'm not here for the constant thunder. It hurts my ears. Seriously, can I just have like two straight minutes without rain. I feel like, I feel like that's not an unreasonable desire. Okay, I like how the, like, roof is coming back a little bit here, so let's lean into that a little bit more. Oh my 
my goodness. Look at it from above. Oh my goodness. It's a, it's a little fall forest. Oh, this makes me happy. This makes me so, so, oh my gosh. I love the colors. I feel like the colors are really well balanced because you've got a lot of yellow and like that yellow is punctuated with a little bit of like this texture too. Um, but then, but then you've got, um, a decent amount of orange, like not half, but you know, maybe a third. And then you've got just little, little pops of the red color. And then of course on the floor of the forest, you've also got the, the red bushy things as well. And I feel like that's a really good color balance for what I'm going for because I really like that like bright golden forest experience but I also don't want it to be just a bunch of yellow <sighs> I do want to do more with the floor though see I feel like these concrete powders have a little bit of like a leafiness to them but I also don't like want to put them anywhere like super like I don't want a you know whole block of concrete powder sitting there. Okay, I can I can I, I see this working. I see this working. Oh my gosh. I'm s I am slightly ridiculously happy over this. Yeah, I'm officially obsessed with putting this leaf color in the ground under the trees of the same color. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, seriously, why does that look so good? <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this makes me so happy. This is what I needed, you guys. You know. What we need next is Oh well to not fall asleep for one thing. What is that? Oh, that's a painting. Fancy. We need more lighting. <laughs> because of course we do. Um uh, and candles. And mushrooms. We need mushrooms, of course. Ah, uh, I'm gonna have to use all the mushrooms. Let's see. The lanterns are going to go exclusively on the ground. Like so. I'm gonna just line the walkway a little bit. I I I, I love this whole I seriously don't know where that dude came from and he's driving me nuts. It's It's fine. It's fine. We're all good here. Nothing to see. Anyway <laughs> I love I, 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 I love the fairy garden look that's happening here. I am a fan. <gasps> I did a thing. And I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, I was driving home today. I got more plants. I Is there an Enderman who's uh, lost something? Uh, do you want it back? Um, I, I can also just get rid of it. All right, then. <sighs> um, I'm excited. I got, I, I've, I've been getting a bunch of plants and like making my home mine and it, it, it makes me happy. Anyways, um. But I was going and getting plants from a person 
and I had a thought about what to build here. I definitely want to add like a water feature in this area, but I don't know if I should like fill this whole pond in. Nah, nah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's going to go in, inset into this. <laughs> you think I'm gonna use a water bucket? Ah, beautiful. We're gonna build it up right here. What I saw while driving was a tree that had just the most perfect gradient of leaves. <sighs> Do we need our tree a little bigger, maybe? So we go. Doop, 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 doop. Anyways, it's nice to have infinite blocks for building. <laughs> I haven't, if, if you've seen my other videos, I haven't really gotten to building in my survival world yet because it takes so long and I'm also like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know, like I've watched some Minecraft YouTube and whatnot and I don't know how like people get stuff going so fast. Like my husband and I are playing in a little land world and um, I'm sitting there like farming food and <laughs> he started building a house like right away I was like oh <laughs> I just I don't I don't know how those things normally go but yeah I'm not the best at gathering resources to be able to build apparently not yet which is fine because I've literally been playing video games for less than a year and Minecraft for a lot less than that so it's all good I won't judge myself I'm actually really good at judging myself honestly I'm just going straight up and that actually really sucks that's not how trees look I mean it's a start for sure and I can build off of that. Is, is, is there a reason for that? Like, is there a reason that we get, like, three thunderstorms every day? All right. That's the start of a tree. I'd say, I'd say so, right? Right? All right. Thanks for, thanks for the agreement. Uh... <laughs> No, it's not that great, but it's a great start. Will these be bright and pretty? No, they will not. That's why I didn't use the jungle leaves before. Okay. Are we really going to go through all this again? Seriously. Oh, don't you dare hit my trees. Absolutely not. Goodbye. I am God in this world. Okay, but I keep looking this direction. And it's so pretty. I... I know it's not nearly as fancy and detailed as what I imagine many other people are able to build, but... Uh, it's scratching that itch I have a little bit. And... And it's, 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 it's mine. And I did it. And it looks pretty. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna come up there. What the heck is going on? Oh, snow. Of course. Checks out. Oh, but it looks pretty from up here. I... 
guys i can't handle minecraft snow it's too pretty i love it so much it just i love it also that actually kind of looks good okay we can't do this though it's literally twice a day and it's literally always a thunderstorm <sighs> So one of the many reasons I picked my well gamer name um, as a dramatic herbalist um, is because I work in theater. So I have a music degree, but especially like over the summer, I've been working in theater and whatnot. Um, I've been saying the color yellow, you know, as one does when one builds with the color yellow um but i worked on a production of xanadu over the summer and there's this song if if i don't expect anybody to know what, <laughs> what the heck i'm even talking about um but basically it's the show about the greek gods in like the 1970s and it's it's kind of ridiculous um but there, there's a song where Zeus basically talks about being mellow and <sighs> it gets stuck in my head every time I say the word yellow in here. Is the sun setting? Dang. Also, if anybody's wondering about the uh, second part of my name, the herbalist part, um... Why, yes, it is my life's dream, I guess. It is absolutely my life's dream to be the village witch. That sounds like the best use of my time. <laughs> And by good at, I don't mean that I am a scary person or anything like that. I wish I was. I wish I was intimidating as all heck. I am not. But I'm, like, actually good at, like, using herbs and growing plants and growing things. <laughs> it kind of looks like a monster crawling out of a bed right now. That's funny. Um, I do need to leave a little bit of, like, space open to see the trunk, too. <laughs> now it looks a little bit like an anglerfish. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I love it, but it's ridiculous. I'm trying to make it look less fishy, and I don't think it's working. I can't unsee the fish, no matter what. It's also not as, like, spreading as I was kind of hoping it would be. Okay, well, that's a tree. It is, indeed, a tree. If you go underneath, it actually looks much better. Who enjoys their tree from up above anyways? <laughs> Who would do something like that? We'll add a little bit of lighting in. Oh. Okay, look at our pretty, pretty tree. And it glows. And then all around, we're just going to build some smaller trees. Putting some finishing touches in here. I do like this. You know, I haven't figured out the, uh, the whole trick of lily pads yet. That was 
wasn't me who just set something down. All right. Well, let's take a quick little tour around our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fall wonderland, I suppose. <laughs> I'm actually really, really in love with this. Oh my gosh. That's not okay. We can't have that. Nope. All right, well, looking down, of course we've got the water behind us, which sounds so beautiful. But we've kind of just wander our little path here. Might hear some lovely things as we go. Maybe. It's a bit overgrown. But it's quite pretty. It's got candles and more open spots and nice closed spots. And little bushes. Mushrooms everywhere. Bits of grass here and there ferns and whatnot, and then you come to our happy spot. I love this. It's got a giant tree, more candles, more floating things, more like everything atmospheric. It's just absolutely beautiful. And honestly, I feel like this does scratch my itch a little bit. So, that's pretty heckin' awesome. Um, I love I love having the lanterns everywhere. I don't know. It looks really cute to me. Um, let's let's go ahead and look at this spot at night because I'm excited to see what that looks like. Oh, and it glows. It absolutely just glows. actually magical. Oh, <laughs> that worked out. Do you want to see it from up above? Oh, it's so pretty. I love the colors. I really love how the balance of colors worked out. I think it looks really nice. This is so fun. All right, well, I think we just need a couple more little touches of things here and there. So, let's uh, add a couple friends. They're cute. Um, and a couple frogs. And always a fox. I have only just seen foxes sleeping in Minecraft while building this for the first time and I love it and they look just like my dog when they sleep and it's really, really cute. Putting a lay or two in here. I think the lays are very cute. I have no clue what they are, what lore wise they are. Hey little friend. Do you want this? How do I give you? <gasps> yes, I give amethyst. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't really know anything about them, but they're cute. And they make me happy. So we're going to put them in here. Alright. And to finish out our little collection of friends. Of course, we have to have a couple. <gasps> oh, no. Oops. <laughs> Never mind then. We're going to add a dog or two. Oh, I do like doggos. I think they also... Uh, do, the, do they attack the foxes as dogs? I don't know. 
but I think that's going to be our only dog. Why can't I give it to the... Oh, it's cooked. That's why. Raw cod. Raw cod will. Meow. Meow. Kitty, 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 kitty. Okay. Meow. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, I need my kitty now. Oh, I love kitties so much. Oh, kitties! <gasps> yes! <gasps> they purr! Oh, they purr! Oh! Such a pretty black kitty. I love the yellow eyes. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. <laughs> My dog thinks I'm talking to her. Which is honestly really cute. Alright, one more cat because... Oh, you look, you look like the cat my family used to have a long time ago. Come here. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh yes, I love you kitties. And now we have just a happy little place full of happy little things. This is such a beautiful little fall spot. Go get the bad skelly. Is that what you were growling about? Why is there an emerald? What the heck? <laughs> you go up to the skelly. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. The cute little voices. Well, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this little fall adventure. Um, <gasps> I almost forgot. Pumpkins. I love how they have different voices. The, the different kitties have different voices. No, that wasn't right. Does Potzel not? Ah, you can't till Potzel. Well, we all know you can't have a fall paradise without pumpkins. So, there we are. We've got pumpkins now. <laughs> but I have loved working on this. It it made me feel a little bit better about missing out on a lot of fall. And I think it's beautiful. I really, really, really love this. And I will come back here and visit whenever I get sad about not being able to be part of fall. Because this, this is perfect. And I love it. Anyways... My cats are begging for my attention. I should probably go give them some because you know cats. They won't let you alone until you give them what they want. Anyways, I am so happy that you came along with me on this little, little thing. Um, it's fun because I don't get to uh, do building a lot in survival yet like we... Like I said, um, I'll get there. I'll get there. But it's fun to have, you know, 
the chance to do a little bit of the building right now. So, without further ado, I will see you in our next episode. Hey, bud. Bye. And... Woo! You can't free fall in this. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh! Boom! Bye, guys. Oof.